Hey guys, welcome back to Cruise Blog. It's Allie, and today I'm going to be talking about eight reasons to avoid the main dining room on a cruise ship. Let's get into it. Food is one of the most important aspects of any cruise vacation. Even on the smallest ships at sea, you have plenty of options to keep you satisfied throughout your voyage, from indulgent three-course meals in the main dining room to an all-you-can-eat buffet. The ship's buffet is the more casual of the two eateries. Even on formal night, you'll find people showing up in basic t-shirts and shorts rather than sporting their finest attire. If you want the more traditional cruise ship dining experience, however, you'll want to visit the main dining room on board. Whether you've cruised numerous times before or don't mind strain from cruise ship norms, here are eight reasons to avoid the main dining room on a cruise ship. One reason you might not want to eat in the dining room is because you don't want a chunk of your evening to be taken up by dinner. While nobody is stopping you from ordering just an entree in the main dining room, you're likely going to want to treat yourself to at least two courses. Because the main dining room is a multi-course experience, it tends to take much longer than if you were to waltz into the buffet and grab your own food. After a long day ashore, you might not want to sit through an hour and a half long meal. Instead, the idea of a quick dinner might be more appealing. Those with young children may also find that their kids get antsy when having to sit through a longer meal, especially if they too are worn out from the day's adventure. Plus, ships have a lively hub of entertainment at night. A quick dinner at the buffet could mean that you have time to attend a few different events on board, whether that's an evening show, or activity like trivia before feeling like you have to retire to get a good night's rest. Similarly, the main dining room should be avoided if you want a quick bite to eat in the morning. Even though the main dining room is open for breakfast, you may not be in the mood for a heavy start to your day, especially as your cruise vacation progresses. The thought of a large breakfast, lunch, and heavy three-course dinner is not appealing to all passengers, especially those who are trying to watch what they eat. Moreover, those in a rush to get off the ship for an early excursion will want to bypass the main dining room and grab a quick bite to eat in the buffet as you won't have to worry about checking your watch every so often and looking over your shoulder to see if your waiter is bringing your food. I found that even on ships where there isn't a ton of breakfast variety, that there's still plenty to choose from. Another reason is because the set dining time might not appeal to you. If you choose to dine in the main dining room, you will have two different options for set dining times. Referred to as early and late seatings, the first time tends to be around 5.30 or 6, whereas the late seating can commence as late as 8 p.m. Of course, cruise lines also have flexible dining too, which allows you to either make reservations in advance or simply show up to the dining room within a specific time frame. But if you don't plan ahead though, you may find long wait times to be seated. 5.30 p.m. might be a little bit too early for you, whereas 8 p.m. might be too late, especially if you have young children or you want to refrain from going to bed with a full stomach. When it comes to a ship's buffet, you can grab dinner whenever hunger strikes. You can select a time that's in between both set dining options without having to worry about reservations or a long wait. Another reason is because the ship's buffet will have more options. Typically, the most variety of food on any given cruise ship can be found at the buffet, especially for lunch and dinner. Instead of focusing on a singular cuisine or cooking method, you can find almost anything from Asian dishes to typical American favorites like burgers and chicken fingers. Additionally, the options tend to rotate for lunch and dinner daily, meaning you always have something new to try. While the main dining room menu changes too, there are fewer options compared to what's available at the buffet. To try and provide a more elevated dining experience, compared to the buffet, cruise lines don't offer extensive menus, and I'm talking like Cheesecake Factory long menus that are seemingly endless. I have found that the average number of options for each course in the main dining room is around six different options. While that is still great variety, it is nothing compared to what you'll find in a buffet. Plus, many of the dishes in the buffet are the same as what's being served in the main dining room. Oftentimes, the offerings in the ship's buffet will be the same as the food in the main dining room. While you'll always find more in the buffet, you should not be surprised if you see chilled shrimp cocktails, roasted tomato soup, spaghetti, etc. When Royal Caribbean launched their new menus, for instance, each night in the main dining room became centered around a specific theme, such as Mexican night, French night, Asian night, etc. Several dishes offered on the nightly menus have also been found in the Windjammer buffet. If you choose to forego the main dining room, you won't miss out on the entire experience as some of the food may be available in the buffet as well. Another reason is that you can eat as much as you want. While there's nothing stopping you from ordering multiple appetizers, entrees, and desserts while dining in the main dining room, since you don't know the actual portion sizes, it can be hard to estimate just how much you'll actually want to eat. When eating the ship's buffet, you can easily load up on your first plate and return for seconds or thirds depending on how hungry you are. Since you are only grabbing what you are planning to eat, this helps eliminate waste as well. Plus, you won't have to wait to order another dish if you find yourself hungry for more. You can simply go back to the buffet and get more. Another reason to avoid the main dining room is because specialty restaurants have higher quality dishes. 
The buffet and main dining room are not the only two options that your cruise ship will have. While not included in the cost of your cruise fare, specialty dining restaurants are perfect for those who don't care for the large main dining room experience and that they would prefer to dine in a more intimate setting. The options will vary based on what ship you're sailing on. However, most have at least one steakhouse on board. If you choose to stay in the main dining room, you can typically pay to order a premium steak that comes from the steakhouse. However, you'll get more for your money if you spend the extra for the full multi-course meal in the specialty restaurant as you will also enjoy upgraded appetizers and desserts. Plus, some ships have specialty dining restaurants that are more immersive. On celebrity cruises, for instance, you can choose to dine at Le Petit Chef, which is a dining experience that centers around the tiniest chef in the world with visual projections directly onto your plate and table. Other ships may have teppanyaki restaurants or even themed dining that transport you to a whimsical world of Alice in Wonderland. Also, newer cruise ships tend to have more complimentary, fast, casual dining options. When I boarded my first ever Carnival cruise, I was surprised by just how many complimentary dining options were on board. In fact, I did not eat in the buffet once because I found venues like Big Chicken, Blue Iguana Cantina, and Guy's Burger Joint to be more appealing. Even Carnival's older ships are outfitted with more complimentary dining options, meaning that you don't have to leave the Lido deck to grab a quick bite to eat in the buffet. Most of these venues are open for breakfast too. I had a delicious breakfast burrito on disembarkation morning from Blue Iguana Cantina, and I found the service to be quicker than the buffet, and the burrito was made to order. On board select Royal Caribbean ships also, you can find El Local Fresh, the Boardwalk Doghouse, Sorrento's Pizza, and more. Therefore, don't limit yourself to the buffet. Check out the Cruise Lines app or daily schedule to see what options are available on your ship. In addition to simply listing all the venues, the schedule it will inform you of their operating hours too. All right, everybody, that's all we have for today. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to like and subscribe to Cruise Blog so you can be notified every time we have a new video. Until next time, everybody, happy cruising.